Okay, now, the images, in Revelation as well, because it, they, they, there are those who look at the book of Revelation, see a repetition of events, and you have events which are, which are not historically set out all the time. Yeah. They, they're set out in a different way. So, for example, um, what the one whom we regard as most obviously the Blessed Virgin Mary, in chapter 12, verse 1 of the book of Revelation, she has a crown on her head, a crown of 12 stars. So there we start the crown imagery, um, biblically, but she's about to give birth to a child. The child is Jesus. But there's a dragon waiting to devour the child. And after that, you get this re reference to a war in heaven between Michael and the angels, right? Mm. But the war in heaven between Michael and the angels took place before the human race began. Well, according to mainstream Christianity, but it certainly wasn't occurring at the time of the birth of Jesus or after the birth of Jesus. Yeah. Lucifer, was, Lucifer was cast down before all that happens. He's cast down and subsequently he, he tempts man. Yeah, but, but the thing about it is, even what you're describing there, the imagery uh, is done in a, in, in a sensible way because you have the war and you have the, um, the, the woman with the 12 stars yep. and she gives birth. Yep. So it doesn't say that um, then, the, then the, she gives birth and then the uh, child is taken up to heaven then he's given her a crown, she's given her a crown, and then she's, hold, then she's holding him, so that's not mentioned. Hey, so hold on though, this is difficult because she's got the crown while she's pregnant in Revelation. So, yeah, she, yeah. She, she, so she could say, the, the pictures you talked about where she's wearing a crown and Jesus is wearing a crown, she should wear the crown because she's got it in Revelation 12, 1, anyway, while she's pregnant. So when she's born the child, she's still, that, she's still got that crown. He's got the crown because he's King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So there's no reason why, not, why according to Revelation 12, verse 1 onwards, she shouldn't have a crown when she's holding the baby. No, no, but he only gets that after, after he's fulfilled the mission of dying and resurrecting. Resurrect. Oh, well, well, firstly then, first thing, it seems clear she's entitled to have the crown when she's holding him in that statue because she has the crown in, in the Bible when she's pregnant. So she'd have the crown when she's born the child yeah. and he's holding him. 